An ongoing study is showing promise in the fight against Alzheimer's disease. The study is using a drug that stops amyloid growth, a plaque on the brain that's potentially responsible for that disease. Yeah, UW Health is also studying this drug. CBS 58's Jenna Wells spoke with a doctor about its potential, and she joins us here in the studio with what she's learned. Jenna. Mike and Amanda, the study tracked around 1,800 people with early stage Alzheimer's disease. This is the first time that any drug has noticeably altered the disease's progression for early stage patients. The initial results are positive. Um, they look safe, promising. There's good representation. I think it's really encouraging. A good outlook for Alzheimer's treatment from a study on the anti-amyloid drug lecanemab. Early results from the Clarity AD study show the drug reduced cognitive decline by 27% after 18 months compared to a placebo. The medicine goes in and clears out that amyloid, again with the hope of stabilizing um, the nerve damage and the memory loss and helping people to maintain their function. The study by drug maker ASI specifically looks at patients already experiencing Alzheimer's symptoms. UW Health is also using lecanemab in their study called AHEAD, researching non-symptomatic subjects with amyloid plaque. These are people who have the earliest changes of Alzheimer's in their brains, but no symptoms yet. So the goal is to get that medicine in there clear out the amyloid before it causes nerve damage to the brain. Dr. Cynthia Carlson is leading UW study. She's pleased to see this similar research with a groundbreaking outcome. We have the potential to stop the disease, you know, really drastically slow its progression, get at the root cause, and really hopefully prevent the disease is a real breakthrough. Now, Lakinimab's drug maker is expected to apply for regulatory approval by the end of this year. Meanwhile, UW Health is still looking for volunteers that are 55 and older to participate in their ongoing study. In the studio, Jenna Wells, CBS 58 News. Thank you.